century ago, the Arab League met up in the capital of Sudan to swear that they would have no peace with Israel, no recognition of Israel, and no negotiations with it. And now flash forward to the Trump administration and Sudan just announced that they are yet another Arab nation formally normalizing diplomatic relations with Israel. It's been quite a feat considering the fact that President Trump is now responsible for more than half of all of the Arab nations that have established formal diplomatic ties with our Middle Eastern ally. Before Trump, it was only Egypt and Jordan. Now we have the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and now Sudan. According to President Trump, five more countries are in talks of normalizing relations with Israel. And this includes Saudi Arabia. It's clear that the Obama doctrine is dead. No longer are we being held hostage by Iran and Palestine. No longer are we letting them set the terms of our debate. Now we are going forward to finally bring peace to the Middle East. Consider, even if you don't like some of what Trump's done domestically, we are on the cusp of eviscerating ISIS, and the Middle East has never been more peaceful in my lifetime. And we've done all of that by withdrawing troops from the region rather than starting yet another illegal war as Barack Obama liked to, liked to do. All for years, we've been hearing Trump moving the embassy to Jerusalem would spark massive violence in the Middle East. Then we hear abandoning Iran, pulling out of the JCPOA, would spark massive violence in the Middle East. And yet, we've never been closer to finally establishing peace in the Middle East. Trump's foreign policy wasn't front and center at the debates, in no small part because the commission of the presidential debates didn't want it to be. What will Biden answer with? Bombing Libya? Bombing Serbia? Voting to go into the Iraq war? If the Biden doctrine is the same as the Obama doctrine, we're looking at a reversal of some of the greatest foreign policy gains of my lifetime.